to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, welcome to uh, tonight's uh, Salt Lake City Council meeting. Um, we appreciate that you've taken the time out of your day to attend our meeting and to participate and to see your local government at work. To start the meeting, we've laid out some guidelines for decorum and civility to make sure that people feel comfortable and safe to participate. Please be respectful of other people's comments. Avoid uh, cheering or jeering because it could cause someone to feel intimidated. Please help us take care of this historic room by not standing on furniture or leaning against uh, decorative pieces. If you have a sign, uh, prop, or other piece of equipment, like video equipment, um, please make sure that it does not cause disruption or block other people's views. Signs wider than your chair will need to be displayed in the hallway. Um, also, items like sticks and dowels are not allowed. Um, please do not approach the dais. If you have something to pass out to the council, a staff member can assist you with that. Our staff is here to help you. If you need any assistance or have any questions, please raise your hand and a staff person will come help. Also, we recognize that two minutes of comment may not be long enough to get all of your thoughts outlined tonight. Uh, please visit our website, slccouncil.com, or refer to the contact information sheets by the speaker cards for information about other ways to share your comments with the city council via email, phone, or mail. Okay, we will move on to section B of our agenda, which includes six different public hearings. Um, item B1 is our first hearing, and that is um, an ordinance amending Chapter 14.32 and enacting Chapter 14.56 of the Salt Lake City Code to regulate the placement of wireless telecommunications. Um, I don't see any cards on this issue, so I will look for a motion. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on this issue? Okay. Mr. Chair, I move the council to close the public hearing, suspend the rules, and adopt an ordinance amending Chapter 14.32 and enacting Chapter 14.56 of the Salt Lake City Code to regulate the placement of wireless telecommunication facilities in the public right-of-way. Second. All right. It's been moved by Council Member Kitchen. Oh. Well. Um... Oh, he does. Okay. Okay. Um, so I have a motion that's been made and seconded, but I'm going to um, go out of turn and let this person speak. Um, Richard Lee, would you come up to the podium, please? Hi, Richard Lee, Extinet Systems. Um, do you want my address? Uh, no, that's okay. Um, so I'm here in favor of the ordinance, but Mostly, I just wanted to say thank you for the time and effort. I had an opportunity to meet with several of you and a lot of staff members and who have been great. So I just want to say thanks for the time and effort. That's all. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Lee. Um, are there any other comments on this item? Okay, seeing none, I'll go back to, um, we had a motion by Council Member Kitchen and a second by Council Member Johnston. Uh, is there any discussion to this motion? Seeing none, um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, and that passes, thank you. Okay, uh, on to our second public hearing. Um, this is an ordinance relating to the design standards amending section 21A.37.020 of the Salt Lake City Code. Um, is there anyone, I don't see any cards, is there anyone here to speak to this ordinance or this resolution? Seeing none, I'll look for a motion. Mr. Chair. Yes. Move the council close the public hearing and defer action to a future council meeting. Thank Second. you. I have a, a motion by Councilmember Luke 
and a second by council member Fowler. Um, is there any discussion to this motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, then that motion passes. Our third public hearing is an ordinance amending section 21A.33.070 of the Salt Lake City Code pertaining to retail service establishments. Um, I don't have any cards on this. Is there anyone in the audience who's here to speak to this item? Mr. Chair? Yes. I move that the council close the public hearing and defer action to a future, future council meeting. Second. I have a motion by Council Member Luke and a second by Council Member Johnston. Is there any discussion to that motion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that motion passes. Item B4 is a hearing regarding an ordinance amending portions of the Salt Lake City Code pertaining to the appeals process for decisions made by the Historic Landmarks Commission. I don't have any cards for this item. Is there anyone in the uh, audience who wishes to speak? Mr. Chair? Yes. Move the council close the public hearing and defer action to a future council meeting. Second. Thank you. I have a, a motion by Council Member Luke and a second by Council Member Kitchen. Is there any discussion to this? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that motion passes. Item B5 is a public hearing regarding an ordinance amending the zoning map pertaining to a parcel located at approximately 65 South 900 East um, uh, to rezone a portion of the parcel from R2 single family to uh, and two family residential districts to RMF 30 low density multifamily residential districts. Um, I do not have any cards on this item. Is there anyone who is wishes to speak on this? Seeing none, I'll look for motion. Mr. Chair? Yes. I move the council close the public hearing and suspend the rules and adopt the ordinance rezoning the property at 65 South 900 East Avenue uh, to RMF 30. Second. Um, it's been moved by Council Member Luke and seconded by Council Member Kitchen. Is there any discussion to this motion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. All right, thank you, uh, that passes. Our last public hearing combines items B6 and B7 as one hearing, which uh, are grant applications. B6 is for U.S. Department of Transportation better use, utilizing investments to leverage development transportation um, discretionary grant. And B7 is for 400 South Rail Corridor Transportation Corridor Preservation Fund grant. I do not Mr. have a comment Chair. for this. Yes. I move the council close this public hearing and refer items B6 and B7 to a future consent agenda <clears throat> for action. Second. <clears throat> All right. I have a motion by Council Member Kitchen and second from Council Member Johnston. Is there any discussion to this? No. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. That motion passes. Uh, we are on to Section C, potential ac action items from our agenda. Um, section C is regarding an ordinance amending identification requirements for business license applicants. Is there anyone here who wishes to speak to this motion? Seeing none, I'll look for a motion. Mr. Chair, I move the council adopt the ordinance amending various sections of the city code relating to identification requirements for business license applicants. Second. I have a, a motion from Council Member Mendenhall and a second from Council Member Fowler. Is there any discussion to this motion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Seeing none, motion passes. All right, now we are on to item D of our agenda, um, which is the comment section. Um, are there any comments for the mayor today? Mayor, thank you for being here. Oh, that's okay. I want to ask a question because you're here, but I don't have anything to say, so I just want to say thanks for being here. <laughs> well, and thanks for the yummy lunch the other day. That was great. Yeah, of course. It was, yeah. Yes, uh, Mayor and I had lunch together the other day, and it was uh, good to catch up. We, I tried to, my best to bring her up to speed on our perspective on Inland Port, Northwest Quad, RDA stuff. So. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Great. Yeah, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried that Lazzie's place? <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't tried it. 
Ooh. Uh, that, and just so me. you know, uh, the owner of Metatrina loves being next to you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now that's a good restaurant. Yeah, we're gonna go somewhere. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, any other questions or comments to the mayor? <laughs> they're, they're like, <laughs> um, okay. Um, then we're on D2, which is taking general comments. Um, oh, good, I have two cards. Um, so the way that we'll do this is that I'll call um, both names and the uh, second name just be ready to approach. The first name that I have is Amir Carell. Cornell? Oh, sorry, thank you. Come on up. Good evening, Council. Ma'am, I forgot my hearing aid, but I just want to make sure we know my hearing aid. I have three. E oh, uh, the first issue I'd like to talk is I called to 17 out of 19 city in Salt Lake County. They have a hearing three minutes and up. And we would like you folks change it two minutes to three minutes. Number two, uh, we would like to Salt Lake City uh, um, uh, not to use a plastic ba uh, bag at the grocery stores because it's nothing but messy. And uh, I talked to the Smith Foods and Drugs. They said, we don't care. We have a paper bags we would like to use and in the long run, it's healthy and better. And the last issue, two weeks ago, we lost a building enforcement officer in West Valley. And they came to this conclusion by the mayor, bad ordinance. Sometimes these ordinances are written so long ago. I had a problem three years ago with building enforcement with the help of the city attorney and thank you to mayor. The problem got solved before it gets to third district court. We would like when you put an ordinance down, think about who's gonna enforce it and there is always an idiot out there. We should take a gun out of the people's hand. That's all I have, and thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Cornell, I appreciate it. And the next comment I have is from Travis Bird. Right here. Um, I have, the last time I was here was about Gordon Hayward. I remember the nice guy in the middle right here, my main man, hooked me up with a video and everything. Thank you, you guys changed my life. I got a DVD coming out. You guys are all getting it for Christmas, by the way, free. Uh, Miss Mayor. There was a little girl that has cancer, brain cancer, her name's Zoe Jane. I was wondering if you could like make a day to make her a princess of Salt Lake City for a day. Can I give you the information? May I hand that to you? Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, God bless you. And thanks again, my man. We got to go to a jazz game. Whatever you want, mm -hmm. on me. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Bird. Okay, those are the only comment cards that I have. Is there anyone else here that wishes to speak on any item or general comment? All right. Um, then we will move on to new business. And we have no new business. So we are now at unfinished business. Um, item F1, which is regarding a resolution authorizing an interlocal agreement to receive $1,086,500 in Salt Lake City grant money awarded to the city in uh, 2017. The funding would be used for capital repairs at the Sorensen campus, which includes the Sorensen Multicultural Center, the Sorensen Unity Center, and Steiner West Pool. Mr. Chair? Yes. I move that the council adopt the resolution authorizing approval of an interlocal cooperation agreement between Salt Lake City Corporation and Salt Lake County for the allocation of tourism, recreation, cultural, and convention funding. Second. I have a motion by Council Member Johnston and second Seconded by Council Member Kitchen. Is there any discussion to this item? I do. Yes, Council Member. I Lindell. just wanted to thank the administration and Corey Rushton and whoever else worked on this. What a, a fantastic thing to apply for and better yet even to receive it, particularly as we undertake our new 
contract of interlocal for the uh, management of this facility. So it's it's great. Yeah. Bring on the money. Ditto. All right. Any further discussion? And I'll ask for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Seeing none, the motion passes. Our second unfinished uh, business item is F2, resolution for airport revenue bonds. Mr. Chair. Uh, famously known as the series 2018 bonds, uh, soon to be known as the historic series 2018 bonds, <laughs> AKA the Jen Runo bonds. <laughs> Mr. Chair. Okay. Yes. I move that the council adopt the resolution authorizing up to $1.25 billion of airport revenue bonds to finance capital improvements to the Salt Lake City International Airport authorizing a second supplemental trust indenture, authorizing certain officials and officers to approve the final terms and provision of, the provision of the bonds within the parameters in the resolution, providing for the publication of a notice of a September 18, 2018 public hearing to receive comment from the public with respect to the issuance of the bonds and the potential economic impact um, the capital improvements will have on the private sector, providing for the running of a contest period and authorizing all other necessary actions. Second. All right, I have a, a motion from Councilmember Luke and a second by Councilmember Johnston. Um, any discussion to this motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, seeing none, that motion passes. Okay, we are now on to section G, the consent portion of the agenda. Mr. Chair, I move for approval. Second. I have a motion by Councilmember Kitchen and a second by Councilmember Luke. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Seeing none, a motion passes. This concludes our formal city council meeting and this meeting will be adjourned. Thank you for coming. <laughs>